New at six, creating and cleaning at the same time. The Woburn man who's making his favorite spot safe for all creatures. Mm. Now, he's seen a Woburn treasure overrun with litter. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, this man figured out a way to help and turn the eyesores into art. It's the call of the wild that brings him to the lens, yet it's his heart that keeps him coming back. We call this a paradise. Others call it Horn Pond in Woburn. You'll find stuff that, uh, like birds and wildlife that you don't get to see anywhere else. It's an area littered with beauty. Yet we find photographer Roberto de Souza buried in the ugly, wading in it, in fact. After the rain stops, that's when I have to come because that's when the trash moves into the pond. It's sullying the streams, it's tainting the trails, it's cluttering these culverts. If you walk on the edge of this ridge over there, you can see it's full of nips. Roberto says litter in the city gets caught in the storm drains, eventually making its way here. I actually come here almost every day after work or before I go to work. It's become a routine for Roberto, a man raised on a farm in Brazil who grew to cherish the environment. So my total right now is 340 pounds in three months. Beer cans, plastic bottles, even Barbie dolls. I had 600, over 600 nips in three months. He encouraged the city to place trash cans around the pond. With all the trash barrels around, it, it's so easy for us. If only it was that simple, if only that was enough. It was a, a never-ending story, like every day you come here you find trash. That's when he began getting ahead of it, creating the crap trap, a device that catches debris as it floats downstream. This is actually using the recyclable plastic bottle, the two liters of soda. Uh, I need a floating device. So I see floating bottle everywhere, so why not use them to, to stop the trash? The invention blocks the debris from making it to nearby ponds, where it will be harder to get. Whatever comes here, it stops over there. This means less impact on the animals. His photos have captured birds with lures stuck in their limbs fishing line entangling their legs. We are affecting uh, the, the wildlife here in so many ways. This space is a cohabitat. Humans and nature intertwined. The birds here will even land on your hand. My co-worker, she brought her two kids the other day to do this. Oh! oh. 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 Just to see the, the happiness, the joy on their face. Only everyone isn't paying attention all of the time. Roberto says people really began taking notice when he started displaying the trash as art. He got a lot of people coming and talking to me. Oh, where this trash com is coming from? It came from neighbors. It came from friends. It came right out of the water. If everybody do a little piece, when you put together, it will make a difference. In Woburn, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. I have a lot of admiration for anyone who decides to take it upon themselves to make our communities better, and I think that's exactly what he's doing. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and not only that, he's taking what he is removing as trash and beautifying that space in a new way. What was the name of the trap? It was the crap trap, I believe. <laughs> I wonder if he'll get a trademark on that. Exactly. <laughs>